There's another major issue with this committee. And when they expand to 12, they need to make this change too. And a lot of people don't know this. The committee is comprised of current athletic directors and they're volunteers. So they are completely unpaid. So we are making determinations about national standings in a billion dollar organization with literally billions of dollars at stake. Exactly. With people who have natural bias because of who they're associated with, AKA Mitch Barnhart, AD at Kentucky, who gets a say in how Tennessee and Alabama are ranked. I'm sorry, it doesn't matter how, how stand up character of a person you are, there are going to be natural biases that yeah. come into play when, when you are talking about your competitors. So the first issue is it shouldn't be standing ADs. Secondly, Agreed. you can't hold volunteers accountable. So it should be people who the NCAA handpicks to be paid employees whose sole job is to watch every game and make sure that their rankings are as flawless as can be because if they're paid, all of a sudden there's a level of accountability involved. And if they're not attached to any university, I mean, think about this. The committee is comprised of people who are being paid by universities who are involved in the process. Exactly. Michigan's athletic director is on the committee. How in the world does he sit in a room and talk to 10, 11 other people about his school and stay impartial in that process, especially when he's there as a volunteer. Mm -hmm. it, it makes zero sense. And the fact that the NCAA is unwilling to pay a group to do this is just mind blowing. I believe the proper emoji usage to describe the last minute and a half of the show is three fire symbols. <laughs> Uh, you were, you were spitting fire there, man. You were spitting fire. That is exactly right. You're exactly right. Uh, that that's the only way to make this fair. What you just mm -hmm. said, that's, that's exactly right. Mm -hmm.